Hey, it's C, this is Eventful. I'm at the Newburn Civic Theater and they have this really cool upcoming play called The Revolutionist. And I heard some cast members are supposed to be here today. So let's go see if we can find some of them. Meredith, how are you? I'm doing great, how are you? I'm doing fantastic. So tell us about your role and how did you become a theater director? Okay, well, um, <laughs> I am a director here at the Newburn Civic Theater. Mm -hmm. I have been a part of the Newburn Civic Theater. I first did a show here when I was 12. Wow. And then went off to college, came back to Newburn, got back involved in about 2013, 14, 15, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I performed on stage here numerous times uh, and did my first directing bit back in 2017. Wow, uh, okay. Yeah, 2017, we did Much Ado About Nothing. Um, so since the age of 12, since the age of 12, You've I've been, been doing... You've been with the Newburn Civic Theater. Yes, so I did that and just the little gap for college, but we always come back. Where did you go to college? Did you go to ECU? Uh, Greensboro College, not UNCG, but right next door. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, hi, neighbor. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so tell us about this play, The Revolutionist. So, The Revolutionist is written by Laura Gunderson, who is the most mm -hmm. produced female playwright of our modern time right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. and so she writes this play. It's a little bit of history, a little bit of just slice of life for women. Mm -hmm. um, and it's also a little bit of a dream fugue. There's like a, some surreal nature that goes on with it. Okay. So it takes place during the French Revolution and involves some historical women who actually existed and lived during that time, including Olympe de Gauche, Charlotte Corday, Marie Antoinette makes an appearance. So there is, so it's a bit of history, a bit of fun, and just really a fun time. During the revolution, one of the big things they were talking about is equality, brotherhood, and mm -hmm. um, liberty. So one of the main writers of that time, the pretty much the only female playwright left in Paris during the French Revolution, and also a great enlightenment thinker is Olympe de Gauche. So okay. she wrote something called the Declaration for the Rights of Women and the Female Citizen. And huh. she wrote that as like a response to this idea of the Declaration of the Rights of Man. She's like, well, women are 50% of the population, <laughs> we are here too. So she wrote that and um, faced a lot of uh, backlash, backlash for it. We do a lot of it out of the love for it. And what's really cool about mm. this show is that in the show, Many of the women talk about being mothers, and we have mm. many mothers who are a part of our cast as well. So it's like that. So they can like really relate to their mm -hmm. character. Exactly. And it's... speaking of our cast members, where are they now? Like, should we go meet them? Yeah, let's meet them. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies. Hello. How are you? What are y'all doing? We are getting ready for a promo shoot for the Revolutionists at Newburn City. Ooh, okay. I love to see it. <laughs> well, I'm excited to see this promo shoe. We're excited to see it. Okay. Uh, Marie is actually a fascinating character to play because I think that she's really misunderstood. Mm -hmm. uh, she has been remembered by history um, as being kind of flippant and being, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the cause of the revolution, really. Uh, people oh, hated yeah. her because she yeah. spent in excess. And um, this play really frames her as a woman and a mother mm -hmm. and and a, a wife and a friend, which is just really wonderful to remember that, you know, even the most famous of people in history were all of those things. Yeah, absolutely. They wore a lot of hats. Yes. Be sure to stop by the Newburn Civic Theater on September 22nd to check out their fabulous show, The Revolutionists. This is Eventful. Till next time on Hello ENC.